Hey and welcome back to a new video on my channel. My name is Kali Kalu on the internet and I also go by the name of Kali. I'm super happy that you found your way over here for today's video. So what we are going to do today is we are going to or rather I am going to show you how you can transform your own pictures into a diamond painting. And for this you have to convert it into cross stitch first. Um, and this little toy here we have here, this tool. Uh, will give you your diamond painting. So um, if you want to do it, first of all, you have to get your picture. I went to Pixabay. Pixabay is uh, sh like Shutterstock if you want, but it's for free, uh, at least part of it. So you can get a picture um, that's, you well, you don't have to um, license it. You can use it for free. Uh, for whatever you want to do with it, commercials and so on. So I just chose this one because it was cute and it was just to show you, give you an example from it. So um, first of all, when you have your picture and you're sure you want to do it, you go to Pixel Stitch. So Pixel Stitch is the site I prefer to use to transform my pictures into cross stitch patterns for free. So you use this get started and select a picture. That's what we are going to do and we are going to choose our kitty. So once we have the kitty, uh, now this is important, you have to know that if you do a cross stitch conversion for diamond painting, um, you are working on a blank canvas if you do it on your own, if you don't go to a site like Heaven and Earth Design where you can buy these. So if you really want to do it on your own and you want to use the method I'm showing you, you have to get um, a blank canvas, I would say from AliExpress is the best. I'm going to show you later where you can find one. Um, and you have to be aware that you have to buy a square canvas, like with square drills, because if you buy it in round drills, well, the canvas will be blank and you will have like places between the diamonds that will stay white and this won't look good. So you have to do, if you want to do this, you have to use square diamonds. So what's important here is once we have our picture, our kitty, it will be here. We have here the width, the number of stitches that we have to change. Since we are working with square, we have to do a little calculation of the sides we want to get. Um, so if you go calculator, we have here like, um, let's say we want it what size. So if you go here, you have to put the width that is this part of the picture. How big should it be? Let's say we will want it 50. Um, so we have to take 50 centimeters and we have to divide this through 0 0.25, which is the size of one square drill. And then we get here 200 and that's the number we have to put in here. So that's the number of diamonds we need to place if you want 50 centimeters. So um, then we have to see here the ADA, count ADA, that's actually 10 in a diamond painting. So you just have to put that at 10 and you can put choose the colors here. Like the minimum 60 is okay, maximum would be 120. Let's see if we put the maximum what we will get. So now we have here the DMC color palette. We have to be careful with it because um, these are, there are more numbers in here than there are actually in what you can get as a diamond painting. Because if you look here and you know a bit about for example, Diamond Art Club, they start at 150. And that's the case for most of all of these diamonds you can get. So everything that's below from one to, I think it's 35, 34, these numbers are actually not existing in um, the diamond painting. So we have to unselect them, but you could just do that right now. But I prefer actually doing it later on when I see that there are such numbers here in uh, my results. So what we're going to do, we're gonna put this on 200, we're gonna put here 10, we're gonna put 120, I know that's a lot, just to see how many colors we will get in the end if we put it on maximum. Then we got the DMC here. Uh, color selection, like I said, you can choose it yourself. I'm not gonna choose it right now, I'm gonna choose it later. We have advanced options, I don't 
usually use and we have here the save options this is nice we can save it as a pdf or an excel sheet okay i'm gonna put it on excel or pdf let's put it on pdf and we got here uh, symbols with colored boxes that's nice um, i prefer that you can have symbols only symbols but then it's black and white we can have letters and numbers only but if you have like 60 colors um, they will put you the number 61, 62, 63 and so on and this can be quite confusing. Uh, same with just numbers and so I prefer to go with symbols with colored boxes but you can also go with letters and colored boxes or numbers with colored boxes or just the colored boxes. I personally I prefer the symbols with the colored boxes, much easier for me. So, and we want to see the grid when we do it. And now let's create this pattern. So if we go with 50, that's what we get. So the picture is still quite, quite big. We see we would have here 29,800 stitches or diamonds we would use. Um, the size would be 10, which is okay, correct. And here it would be 50 centimeters to 37. Um, you always have to go one up just to make sure that you don't lose diamonds, okay? If you buy your canvas. And we would have 40 DMC colors. Let's see if we can get a little bit smaller and still keep the details of it. So I'm gonna do the same math again. And let's say this time we go with 40 instead of 50 centimeters. We divide it again through zero point and we get 160. Let's see what this will bring. Create. And that's what the picture would look like. Still, I see a lot of detail. If this is enough for you, you can use it. Um, so it would be 40 now by 30. We can go one smaller, like let's say 158. Okay, just to get here, um, still not good enough. 156, create. Okay, just to be here on 40 and here on 30, which is much easier if you want to actually buy your canvas. For me personally, this would be too pixelated. I see we have already maximum color. So we get here 40 DMC colors and it's a little bit pixelated. So I would go with the bigger variant we had here with 200. Personally, I would do that. And it's much clearer for me. That's what I prefer. But then again, it depends on what you want as a result. You can go even bigger if you want to. Uh, just to avoid that here, I would maybe go with, I don't know, one. Let's see what we will get if we do it like this. See, we would get here 49 point and here 48. So we could go by a canvas of 50 to 40 and we could still cut up. A little bit from the canvas in the end so we would not lose any drills so this is actually how you do transform your picture until you get the size you want please be careful i think they go maximum 500 stitches so you can't go bigger larger than 500 stitches uh, on the bottom so um, that's important to know once you are happy with what it would look like you can save the embroidery pattern and then you open it and that's what we get so here's the picture our picture we chose and here's the important part let's see if i can make it bigger for you here we have i don't like the site how do you put it like this usually i get it in one page so actually here are 42 colors and that's something I did not take a look at earlier. I'm so, so sorry. So I will have to go back. I will explain it to you once we are in this file here again. Where are we? Up here we are. So what I, I forgot to check is, so that's why you do it earlier. We have a few numbers we can't use in here. So we have to uncheck these um, in the color section. So I'm going to do it quickly here so that the confusion won't exist later on. I'm sorry, I actually should have done it earlier because I then it would not have happened, right? Um, so you just take out everything that's under 150. That's not 150 numbers, it's just like a 30 something number that you have to take out. 
uh, sometimes it's hard to see them but most of them so that they won't appear when you start looking for your for your canvas for your stones I don't know if there's still one that's coming I don't think so no I think I got them all if I did not get them all I will notice it now so create embroidery pattern we go again now that I unselected everything and here we are so we don't have any number normally under 150 and then we can use it so now I do it again I download save my embroidery pattern and this time it should be right so here we go okay and we see it in the right way let me put just that boop you don't have to boop okay we have here our picture second page we have the colors 42 colors here are all the colors we need and the symbols and you see there are eight pages you could use if you want to work on your canvas and we have uh, 13 49 so 50 to 38 centimeters for our canvas there's nothing that looks weird so if you have that what I usually do is I take a look at my canvas and that's how it would go and if I would work on it and I got my blank canvas I would put usually put also on squares of this like 10 10 centimeters uh, and you have to put the drills down then uh, not 10 centimeters but 10 stones that's why we had to put 10 also in the ADA form. So we get that here and then you put take one square and you work on one square. Once that is done, you work on the next one. That's how I would work. So I don't get confused with what I have done, what I haven't done. And then I just print that out and I just um, cut it off like this once I've done with everything on one square. So I work square by square actually. So if you have your picture and you see the symbols, you could decide if you want to get a V diamonds. So this is the hardest part. You have to find a company that serves you their diamonds. I'm still looking for a good one. I found one on AliExpress, but I'm not sure yet if they can. They don't have every color, like everything that's blank or a crew. Uh, we don't have that in here, but that does not exist in their stock. For the others, they can give it to you. But they also don't have AB diamonds. So, so for the ABs, you have to go see elsewhere. And since I live in Europe, it's hard to find a company that does it other than on AliExpress or it will be super, super expensive. That's why I chose um, AliExpress. But maybe if you live in the States, you can use um, easily uh, one of their diamond painting shops that sell diamonds for diamond painting but yeah so if you take your picture and you want to use ABs you can go for I don't know where would I like to put an AB um, I think it would look like in the citron so the main color of it that would be a nice one and I think it will also go here through the hat and the lollipop would be nice or maybe if you don't want to do that you could just do this one entirely normal drills and get this loon the the, loon, <laughs> the moon um, in a beast that would look nice as well or you could do the white in the cat so this depends on what's your taste and if you do let's go with his this um this curves this halloweeny thingy so if you go for it like this is the main color you see it also here's the bottom of it no, this is the main color so I would go with that for an AB and let's see we also have it here a little bit so this will enhance this as well then I would go here and the symbol was this one so we get 754 stitches of these I would just take my penny thingy here my marker I would take a box and I would put that here um, let's make the borders different and so I would know when I go buy my drills that this one I want to have an AB so now if you want to order your diamonds I would suggest if you don't have any spares go already check out if you have some spares you can use so you don't have to buy everything here if you don't have spares or you want to buy new ones um, 
it's always good to round them up like um, I would not just buy like where am I here 56 stitches I would not just buy 56 diamonds of the color 554 no I would buy a little more I would buy like 80 and if they don't sell you a quantity you can buy like this you have to go with 200s like one package of 200s uh, the price does not go up because of that that much, but you are sure that you will have enough diamonds at the end of the day And I think that's way more important than have a little bit More than what you will use in the end of it. So keep that in mind as well uh, Sometimes in these little baggies uh, there are not 200 diamonds even if for example um, In most there should be maybe you have a little bit more maybe you have a little bit less so here if you buy like a 200 elf the 211 the color I would not just go with one back hoping that like this there are 200 diamonds in it no I would buy two baggies of 200 just to be sure or if the shop does offer you to give them in grams um, I would go a little bit high and I would say I need 250 diamonds just to be sure that I will have enough at the end of the day and that I won't be short one or two diamonds which would be very very infuriating so that's how I'd proceed um, then I would go to Aliexpress and I would buy a canvas so I'm gonna show you this and then we will be done uh, for today's video so we go on Aliexpress and we can put in here blank canvas and I took uh, quite some time looking through different uh, sellers and what I found out. So you get these round diamond canvases as well. But please stay away from it because like I said there will be gapping between them. And it will be white so it won't look good. So I found this seller here. I have not ordered mine yet. So I can't tell you what it is how it will turn out but I took a look at what people said and most of them were happy with what they received so um, what you can see here is also like we have the square drills and there are like these um, how I told you these uh, parts where you have the thicker lines which helps you count later on if you have to put your drills down so we have a canvas from let me go back I told you 40, uh, 50 to AF 40. So we should have that. Uh, yeah, we have 40 to 50 square. So here we are. I would buy this for 8 euros 25, which is quite reasonable, I think. So yeah, just wanted to show you this. Uh, for the drills, I currently contacted Evermoment. And I asked them about um, the drills, uh, if they could send me some over. And they were quite responsible and they, they tried to answer me right away. I'm not sure yet, I haven't bought them yet, but I will keep you updated on that as well. So yeah, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I would be happy if you would come back to my channel and if you would subscribe if you have the time. And yeah, let me know if this is a project you want to do as well. So I hope I answered all your questions. If you still have questions, if something is not clear, please let me down a comment. And yeah, I hope you stay healthy and I hope you stay hydrated and that I will see you in another video. Bye guys!